When Truman ordered the atomic bombings of Japan in 1945, he approved of the most horrific weapon to ever be deployed in the entire history of warfare. But what if former Vice President Henry Wallace had never lost his position and ascended to the presidency? Wallace desired to retain peaceful relations with the Soviet Union to avoid what he considered was the inevitability of World War III. Many might point to Wallace's early appointment as liaison to the highly secretive S-1 committee as evidence that he supported the use of atomic weaponry, but if anything, this appointment informed him of its destructive capabilities. Wallace supported atomic energy, but not atomic monopoly. He desired to share atomic energy with the world, knowing that in the hands of the few, it would be wielded unethically. Months after the atomic bombing of Japan, Wallace stated, They have long well known what the American people are just beginning to know, that all of us, both individually and collectively, are now facing the greatest challenge ever placed before man. We can turn toward darkness, destruction and death, or toward light, peace and abundance. 